For months, the city of Detroit's been cracking down on landlords, ensuring their properties are up to code and safe for tenants. We've talked about this a lot lately. Yeah, the local four defenders have been covering this for the past few months. It's billed as a crackdown on bad landlords. But even some of the reputable landlords in the city say the rules are too strict and the deadline's too short. Coco McAvoy joins us now live this evening. And Coco, they are not happy about this. That's right. The landlord we spoke to isn't very happy. He acknowledged that it's very important to make sure that these buildings are up to code for the tenants, but he says it's very costly because the buildings have been in bad shape for so many years, and he's worried that it may drive out some investors. In several Detroit neighborhoods, contractors are bringing homes back to life. My investment group has over 110 houses. Now the focus for landlords like Dan Villarreal is to comply with the city. Landlords must register their properties, get it inspected by the city, and fix any violations. Tenants of Detroit absolutely deserve a lead-free building department inspected, up-to-date house. But, he says... The way they're going about it isn't fair to the landlord side. The city is setting deadlines by zip code. The first deadline passed with only 11% of landlords in compliance. We're in the 11% that came on board with what they were saying. So we're very scared that if you drive out our competition, we kind of need the competition. So does the city and so do the tenants. Villarreal says he has had to spend millions. Can you want us to fix it in a year and a half and then throw penalties at us? Mm -mm. Chief of Staff Alexis Wiley says they're not budging. And if you can't live up to that responsibility, then maybe you should think through whether you should be a landlord. Villarreal worries many investors, including himself, will move out. At the end of the day, I am not worried about investors. I'm concerned about people. The next deadline for landlords is coming up in September. And city officials did acknowledge that there are good landlords in the city of Detroit, and they say they're trying to make this process as painless as possible. They also say that they've been educating landlords for years on this topic, but they're now cracking down to make sure that the tenants are safe. Back to you. And Coco, they really have been cracking down. Have you gotten any kind of final tallies in terms of the number of tickets that have been given out so far by the city? So city officials tell me that they've been giving out hundreds of tickets, and some of these tickets are costing $750. So they're really trying to send a clear message to these landlords that they will come after them if they're not up to code. All right, and it isn't their first warning, so that is important to note as well. All right, thank you, Coco.